Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today it's time for some thrift flips. I just love to go thrifting, finding furniture pieces and decor pieces with great potential and bring new life into these objects. So if you enjoy that too, stay tuned for this. For my first flip, I have this beautiful wooden box that I have thrifted way back. Can't remember how much I paid for it. So it's an easy flip. I have cleaned it properly. And now I am taking a black satin color and apply two coats on the exterior of my box. The interior I will leave as is. And the same on the lid, two coats, just on the exterior here as well. Once completely dry, this is how it looks. Beautiful already. Now I will apply my creamy golden color to highlight the texture to make the sun shine and I just apply it with my fingertip just rub it on you could of course apply it with a paintbrush as well but I think I get a better feeling where to apply it when I use just my fingertip. This video is part of the Third Thursday Thrift Flips Challenge hosted by Elizabeth at Southern Gmo Girls and Tammy at the Rusted Willow and their guest host for this month is Leah at Junkanaka DIY. I will leave links to the channels in my description box along with the link to the playlist of this challenge for more flip ideas. It looks good, doesn't it? last thing I will do is to take some wax to seal the colors just rub it on and then take a dry cloth and buff it up like so you will see the final reveal at the end of this video because all my flips today are styled together For my second flip, I will take this baking form that I have thrifted for one euro, I think it was, same in US dollars, and I will put cement in it, like you see me do here, just really shake that form to get rid of as many air bubbles as possible, and then I take this other bowl. Push it down in the cement and put a weight in it to keep it down. I have put oil on both bowls, anything that touches the concrete, for it not to stick. So I set it aside to dry overnight and this is how it looks. Beautiful, I think. Just love the shape of it. And now I will take some sandpaper and sand off the top because it was still a bit rough. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation on my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my youtube family so here it is i have put pads on the bottom 
for it not to scratch the surface it will sit on and then I will pour in some sand and on top of that sand pile I will put moss just a simple decor it will look beautiful with the concrete against the green moss so I have picked some moss in my backyard and now I'm just put it together but now I figured out I need more sand and even more sand because I want it formed a little bit like a hill there we go perfect I am pleased with the result for my third and final flip I will make this corner piece of furniture beautiful I have thrifted it for 10 euros and it was one of the four units that I picked up uh, some time ago one I have already flipped I can leave a link to that video down in my description if you are interested so beautiful as is yeah a little rough on the edges so I will start out by sanding it off take away as much of the varnish as I can I go in with the coarse sandpaper to start with and then a finer and a finer to get rid of any unevenness and the varnish as I said all over the piece And here I will also take off the door to get more easy access to all the nooks and crannies. And where I can't reach with my electric sander, I will go in with just my sanding block. And then when I have finished sanding, I will take just a damp cloth and wipe it off to take off every bit of a dust from the sanding here I'm removing the hardware so I can sand it off properly this door take my sanding block to start with and then I thought well I could do with the electric sander where I can reach here as well so much varnish on this piece Now I will embellish my piece. I take a stencil in plastic, this one right here, and I put it in place. I just figure out exactly where to put it. And then I keep it down and take spackle to fill in that stencil. Just working slowly so I don't mess it up like so and this will create a relief so I will have one here on the top of the door and then one on the bottom part it looks good doesn't it I'm happy with the result time to paint I'm putting on two coats of this black satin color on the exterior and I will leave the interior as is. With the embellishment on the door, I think this piece will have a Japanese inspired touch. I will use this black paint and a touch of gold and now I'm addressing the hardware just cleaning it properly and then I will take my creamy gold color 
that I use so often it's perfect just with my finger just rub it on like you see me do here and I will do the same with the hinges on the door the speckle on the door has dried and it looks beautiful I think now it's time to paint the door as well just on the outside with this black satin color and I applied two coats here as well I will admit I was a bit nervous to start painting on the speckled embellished part because I didn't know if it would rip it off or not here we go and it worked it worked perfectly I am so happy, but I was holding my breath, I tell you that. My door has dried completely and now I'm taking again my creamy gold color and just rub it on with my finger and here I tried with the paintbrush but finger was the best tool that I had. I messed up a little bit here and there, came a little bit outside the flowers, but I will touch that up once I'm done applying this paint. here I'm touching up any mistakes that I made I just take a tiny paintbrush and the same black satin color that I used for the entire door if you like this video and videos like this hit that like button and the subscribe button of course you will support my channel help it to grow and by doing that I can spend more time creating content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. The final thing I will do is to rub in my clear wax to protect the color rub it on and then take my dry cloth and buff it up to give it that perfect shine again i'm putting on the hardware again i have already put wax on the outer part of the door the inner part where i have my embellishment I didn't dare go in and rub with the wax so I have decided to put a satin finished varnish on that inner part so I will apply two coats of this varnish just to seal it protect the colors Et voilà, here you have my furniture piece. I love it. I'm a fan of Japanese pieces and this is a little tiny touch of that black and gold always looking good together. And I'm so happy with this stenciled part. It looks beautiful. So if you haven't tried it, I truly recommend it it lifts any piece and on the top of my piece i have my concrete ball with moss looking perfect against that black piece of furniture 
love it and this here right here I have just put a little of my creamy gold color on that leaf to tie in with the rest and inside I have my beautiful box also with the same colors I have not put anything inside it just yet but I'm sure I will fill it with something perfect so tell me what do you think of my creations today did you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. For more inspiration, time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge. Get more flip ideas. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.